Google is betting big on alternative energy. The Internet search giant has made 16 wind and solar investments totaling more than $1 billion. One of those solar projects went online yesterday in the Mojave Desert in Nevada at the new Ivanpah Solar Power Plant. It's a huge solar thermal plant with 350,000 mirrors that will provide energy to 140,000 homes in California. The New York Times reports today, while the ambitious project is online and providing energy to consumers, homes, and businesses, not many of these kinds of massive solar thermal plants are likely to be built in the future. This week, I went over to Google's headquarters in Mountain View and interviewed Rick Needham, Google's Director of Energy and Sustainability. We chatted on the roof of Google amidst the company's solar panels, and he explained in detail Google's energy strategy. The company is moving aggressively into solar and wind to power its 12 data centers across the country and around the world. Data centers and infrastructure spending are a gigantic cost center for Google and other tech companies in Silicon Valley. Needham says it's not only good for the environment, but it's also good for business and could be a way for Google to save money over time. Needham said Google's global infrastructure provides over 1 billion searches and 6 billion hours of video every month to its more than 1 billion global users. He explained how important it is to Google to have world-class infrastructure and to manage its massive energy cost. Needham said 34 percent of Google's operations are powered by renewable energy sources. He said Google's goal is to be 100 percent renewable powered, but he wouldn't say by when. While Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, and other Silicon Valley tech companies are migrating to renewable energy to power their headquarters and data centers, Google is alone in not only powering its operations with renewables, but also investing heavily in solar and wind projects all over the world. From San Jose, I'm CNBC Silicon Valley Bureau Chief Mark Berniker. For more on the story, go to CNBC.com.